Sometimes even a simple problem like this can bring a ton of complexity. I will explain the reason and show you why it's so important to master your tools. In your career, you have solved problems like this for sure a ton of times. And what we have here? Basically, a simple goal. We need to go through this list of names. We need to print them all as far as they have a length of four. And we need to print them in uppercase and also comma separated. So this seems like a simple thing to do, right? But I will show you that sometimes it's not. So if we start this and we try to use those common blocks that we have in all the languages, the first ones that we learned, we have a natural tendency to rely on something like a four. So we'll go through that list, that array, and we go from position zero to position to the end of that uh, uh, array. Obviously, we need to start thinking about is this base zero or not? Okay, we know that for this language, so let's start with position zero. That's fine. Inside of each iteration, now that we're going through all of them, we need to bring a condition. So this is our first point to bring complexity. Now that you are going through all of those names in the list, we need to start taking the decision, is this a name that we want to print or not, right? So what can we do? We can simply add an if statement and decide that, okay, we are going to use this index, access to the index, check the size of that entry. So John, is it four? Yes, it is. So let's print it. How can we print it? So we come to the console on this language, doesn't matter the language that you are using, and we decide to print it. Problem is not just about printing, it's also about printing it in uppercase. So we keep iterating on this one. Now that we have names with the length of four and also in all of them in uppercase being printed, so we are printing them all. So now we need to go to the next step. Okay, they need to be comma separated. And what I'm doing here is doing a right line. So instead of doing a right line, why don't I go with a simple right? Okay, just to the right, and by the end, add the comma, just that. Okay, we could argue the way that we do this string concatenation, but that's not the point of this one. However, when we decide to run this thing, notice what is there. Yes, is that comma by the end that is so frustrating and we all have been there okay don't say it never happened to you it happened to you for sure we all have seen this before so now we start thinking how do i address this comma okay what do i do should i for example build a string and by the end remove the last character of that string maybe that's a possibility what if i decided to do a simple check and if I'm on the end, maybe I don't append that thing. So what if I was here and I would always write the comma by the end unless, so if I was not by the end. Okay, and this is another source of complexity that we have. So I have to take this decision that in some cases I don't append the comma. And now I need to start thinking about those indexes. Am I in the final position? Am I not? So you start thinking about that. But now you notice that, okay, this will not work every single time. Why? Because if we append another name here, and that one is not the, the one that you are looking for. So if it's not a name with a length of four, it will print it once again. So I still have a problem. So should I change the approach that I'm doing this? So you keep seeing the problem evolving and you see it's not as easy as it might look like in the beginning. And this is an extremely frustrating moment. It's that moment when you start thinking, why the hell this thing is taking so much time when it should be so simple? The problem is so simple, why the solution is becoming so complex? Why something that should take five minutes has been going for more than 30 minutes, okay? That's a different way of doing this. That's the question we need to ask on such moments. And on those moments, I challenge you to start doing this. Just go there and delete the solution. Don't commit to the sunk costs that you have by the fact that you have been working on that thing for 15 minutes, okay? Throw that away, start again. But now, try to do your research to see if there's a simple way to do that. For example, in this language that I'm using, that is C-sharp, I can do this quite easily in a different way. So what if I said, let's find those names where the length is four. 
Once I have those, what I can do is something as simple as I get the names to print and now let's write them by joining using the join that will merge all of those names that you have found and we'll make sure that in the middle we have the comma. So, so simple, so elegant. If you run this, you have the result that you are looking for. Okay, something was missing. Just one thing that you need to do, we need to make sure that each name will be in uppercase. So if you check the result now, the names are in the way that we're looking for and we don't have that frustrating comma by the end. As you can see, the problem didn't change, but the solution became simpler. But however, there's always the chance to keep improving. There's always the chance to keep learning. Why? Because technology keeps evolving. Your tools, your languages, your frameworks keep evolving. So there's always an improvement opportunity out there. Okay? There's something that you can learn, something that you can catch in when you are facing a problem that will be an available tool for the future. For example, what if I look into this and, okay, I like this, it's much better. However, these two steps of finding the things, having a different list with all them in the uppercase, and then needing to do the, the string.join, it, it seems too much. That's a different way of doing it. Okay, and that is, if I'm using link, why not going here and saying, okay, I want to aggregate this thing, and for that I will need A and B, and I will use A and B to combine them. So that means that now, instead of doing the string.join, I don't need to do that anymore, what I will be doing is as simple as doing the console.write line. So if we run this thing, you can see the result is still the same. So you can see that you can keep learning your tools, you can keep mastering your tools, and that will be valuable in a moment like this, in a moment when things look that they are getting too hard because you are just using the basics, and now you have the chance to simplify by using the tools that you have in your hands. So what's the lesson here? This is not about using the string.join or this different approach to this problem. That's not the point. The point is that when you start with something that you have an expectation that will be extremely simple and eventually it starts getting complex, it starts getting so hard, it's a moment to step back and ask if you, there's something that you should know that will help you to achieve a better result. Obviously, if you are familiar with something like I'm using like C-sharp, Maybe you know that you can use link to achieve this. Maybe you know that you have the string join and the first solution with the four look like a stupid thing to do, right? I get that. However, I want you to imagine another scenario, something that happened to me recently. So I know just a little bit of Python, okay? Don't know much about it, okay? It's a good scripting language and I was trying to write a, a Python script, but I only know the basics. So I start with the four, okay, to, to go through a list of things. And then I got to a problem similar to this one. I didn't know if there was something like this, where they select this join to perform the work. So when you are in an environment where you are not familiar with your tools, there's this chance that you'll get into that complexity without knowing. You are just trying to achieve your end result. You are just trying to get to the point of the to the goal that you have in, in your hands, and then the complexity starts to emerge, and that's the problem. The important thing to get from here is not that there's only a single way of doing things. There's many different ways of achieving something, but sometimes that approach that you decide to take might be too hard, and sometimes it's because you don't have all the pieces, you don't have all the tools, you don't know all the things that you could possibly do to address that problem. So there's always the chance to learn something else because knowledge is a great tool to simplify. So next time that you feel in a moment like this, you start with something simple, you have the expectation to be simple, don't keep going, okay? Don't keep going just trying to achieve the thing that you are looking for, just always forcing to get there because sometimes it's the moment to stop and ask if there's a different way of doing it, if there's a simple way of doing it. Let me know in the comments if you find this useful. In the meanwhile, I think you'll like to watch this video right here, and I will see you in the next one.